1998, Hershey undertook a huge project intended to ease shipping and logistics between their plants and retailers. By September 1999, after six straight quarters of falling short of earnings estimates, Hershey announced that they would lose $150 million in annual net sales and miss earnings estimates by as much as 10%. After paying $112 million to three different supply chain software companies, Hershey experienced many internal issues, notably including transportation. They had sufficient supply in order to fulfill orders, but they were having difficulty distributing candy from its warehouses to its customers. Looking back on the failed project, Hershey concluded that they made a mistake in using three different software companies. Throughout implementation, there were many issues with the overlap between suppliers' responsibilities. They also admitted fault in trying to implement the entire system at once, rather than in phases. The company was overwhelmed by the massive change and simply could not handle all of it at once. Learning from their failure in 1999, Hershey reevaluated their supply chain strategy. Hershey has two simple goals to build strong supplier relationships and to develop responsible sourcing. This implores Hershey to have very strict requirements for its suppliers. They must focus on quality, stability, innovation, flexibility, and be results driven and cost competitive. To keep suppliers meeting these requirements, Hershey did something unique. They opened up their research and development function to their suppliers in a program called Winning Together. This helps suppliers find new ways to package, improve processes, and more. To enforce their high standards, Hershey created a supplier code of conduct and does routine inspections. They also streamline their methods of discovering new suppliers by creating an online application. Finally, Hershey continues to be unique with its commitment to support suppliers that are owned by minorities such as women, ethnic minority groups, and veterans. All of these features help Hershey remain a very profitable company while they manage over 45 supply chain components, including raw materials, labor, and third-party companies. One of the most interesting things Hershey has done to improve their supply chain has been teaming up with one of their competitors. Hershey is proof that helping your competition and the environment can sometimes help you. Hershey and Ferrero, two leaders and competitors in the candy world, teamed up. Their goal is to reduce their carbon footprints, increase productivity, competitiveness, and efficiency for their supply chains. They accomplish this by using shared warehouses, transportation, and distribution centers. A potentially time-consuming and expensive part of supply chain management is transportation. Hershey's decided to revamp their transportation processes by utilizing continuous movements of full truckloads between Hershey facilities. They also began optimizing in and outbound freights. Finally, they partnered up with JDA services to evaluate their transportation management systems. After all the effort put into attracting consumers, the last thing Hershey wants to do is lose them. Anytime a customer goes to a store intending to make a specific Hershey's purchase and isn't able to, Hershey's loses at least one sale and potentially many others if the consumer switches to another, more reliable product. To avoid this, Hershey made the transition towards becoming an insight-driven supply chain. They are trying to ensure that they supply the correct product at the correct stores at the correct times by using advanced analytics and consumer insights. By doing this, they were able to improve operational as well as in-store efficiency. After years of a push-type supply chain, Hershey realized that they were overwhelming their customers with too many choices, while at the same time taking up valuable shelf space at the retailer with excessive inventory. With an insight-driven supply chain, Hershey is able to refocus attention back to supplying customers with what they want it, when they want it, creating a pool or demand driven supply chain, utilizing shelf space more efficiently and cutting back inventory levels. To become an insight driven supply chain, Hershey knew they needed to control their data. By downsizing their US supplier base and moving to outsourcing, it saved them over $185 million in direct costs. But after the expansion, they knew they needed to improve control of their data. They employed the use of a supply chain management system called LlamaSoft. They used the analytics software to consolidate data from ERP systems and CRM systems, which enabled Hershey to see a big picture of their company and how each aspect of their supply chain is working together, no matter where in the world their supply chain is. In 2013, Hershey announced that they had achieved their goal of producing 100% traceable palm oil. This means that Hershey found suppliers of palm oil that were abiding by local laws and regulations, 
not committing any ethically debatable acts such as child labor, and generally being environmentally friendly and safe. In the same year, Hershey also announced that all of the cocoa beans used in their products would come from Rainforest Alliance certified farms by 2020. Both of these environment-focused decisions meant the same thing for Hershey, restructuring their sourcing. They have searched for suppliers that meet the ever-changing environmental standards and continue that search today. In 2010, Hershey undertook Project Next Century in order to get rid of their century-old factory and expand a nearby facility to handle the respective workload. The project called for a whopping $300 million upfront capital investment to pay for the new facility's expansion. By getting rid of old, outdated processes and replacing them with brand new, efficient technologies, Hershey became much more cost-effective in reaching their production goals. The new advanced technology also meant that there was less need for human labor, resulting in a sizable layoff of factory employees. Hershey might have given up a few million dollars and a couple hundred employees, but the results that the project yielded were immediately noticeable. By the end of the year, they had achieved a 6% net sales increase. Hershey's presence in the Asian market is nothing new, but has been served by smaller facilities throughout Asia. For Hershey, the, the decision to build a confectionery manufacturing plant in Malaysia come from the demand of 600 million consumers within the Asian region surrounding the site of the new facility. This Asian region has a growing middle class with steady growing consumption rates in 2011 and 2012, justifying Hershey's decision to build a facility in the region. The new facility will position Hershey to meet this growing demand of its product and positions Hershey to be more responsive by providing high quality products tailored to local taste preferences. Let's talk about an area where Hershey can still improve. Some of Hershey's outsourced suppliers have issues with child labor, especially the cocoa suppliers in West Africa. Hershey decided to create programs and joint initiatives to help them combat these conditions. They joined the World Cocoa Foundation and the International Cocoa Initiative. They also created their own program called Cocoa Link, which is an app that helps keep farmers stay connected and informed about current situations in surrounding areas. They also made a commitment to begin making their products Rainforest Alliance certified. However, this entire situation begs the question, should Hershey find other alternatives? Are these efforts really doing enough to combat labor and environmental issues? There are lots of options, and Hershey might be wise to focus on this part of their supply chain strategy in the future. Finally, let's talk about an area where Hershey can still improve. Some of Hershey's outsourced suppliers have issues with child labor, especially the cocoa suppliers in West Africa. Hershey decided to create programs and joint initiatives to help them combat these conditions like the World Cocoa Foundation and the International Cocoa Initiative. They also created their own program called Coco Link, which is an app that helps keep farmers informed about the current situations in surrounding areas. They also made a commitment to make their products Rainforest Alliance certified. However, this entire situation begs the question of should Hershey find other alternatives? Hershey might be wise to focus on this part of their supply chain strategy in the future.